there's one. Right in the same spot. Come here, Mr. Ned Riggin Bass. That was pretty cool. On that little rocky point, little shallow rocky point, we don't have much wind right now. And something like a little simple Ned Rig, it really does well. A lot of times those bass will lay up on those little shallow rocky places. You may be able to pick off one or two with the crankbait, follow back up with the Ned Rig. It is an excellent, excellent one-two punch. The Ned Rig came from an individual named Ned Katie from out Midwest area. It has evolved a little bit from his original. Just basically, it is a small lead head, open hook, and most times, most people fish a stick worm type presentation on it. For me, I like to start with a four inch one and then kind of cut it down. If it's a really heavily pressured deal and you know, really clear water, I'm gonna cut it down to two, maybe two and a half inches. Or if it's dirty water, kind of like what we have here, I'm gonna keep it at least three, uh, maybe even three and a half inches. So just take off about that much because I want a decent sized profile. I don't want a little bitty tiny bait out there in this uh, off colored water for those fish to find. And, Green pumpkin, it's rarely wrong. Um, it, may, it may not always be the best, but it's rarely wrong. So just thread it up on that, on that head, those little lead barbs, and you're good to go. That sproach style hook, shape of that head, it comes through those rocks surprisingly well to be an open hook like that. Typical cast for me you know I'm I'm gonna generally sit deeper than where I'm where I'm casting um, but I'm gonna throw out immediately let it fall slack line all the way to the bottom and then I'm just gonna kind of start lift and drop you know drag it along the bottom some but a lot of times I like to lift that bait up off the bottom and then let it fall back down I think if you imagine that bait just laying on the bottom that a fish that's in that area he may not know that it's there but then when you pull that bait up that fish is gonna see it there's one now. That was very much what happened there. I had picked that bait up, kind of set it back down. Oh, that's a, that's a nice fish there. I picked it up, set that bait back down, and as it was falling, that fish got a hold of it. Come here, buddy. 10 pound braid and a eight pound leader. I don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah, that's a nice, nice Ned rig, rigging fish. I had let that bait go to the bottom, drug it a little bit, kind of popped it. As it was sinking, that fish locked onto it. With that open hook, it's really easy to hook those fish too. It's not like a Texas rig worm. So this is something you can put in the hands of a, of a young kid, somebody who's new to fishing. Pretty much, you can reel down and just lean into them. That little light wire hook that's in this head, that's vanadium steel on that VMC hook, it's gonna hook those fish. Probably the part I like as much as anything is that bait keeper. That little lead collar style bait keeper works so well for keeping your stuff on a perfect size, perfect shaped head, even for coming through these rocks, not getting hung up much. General rule of thumb, the way it is with anything, the deeper you're fishing, the heavier head you're gonna use. But I, I pretty much always lend on the side of trying to use as light a weight as I possibly can. You know, all the way down to that 16th ounce, and then it steps up to eighth, three sixteenths, quarter. The head shape helps with that a little bit too. That kind of pointed end on this head, it really seems to kick it around and keep that hook out of those rocks. The final thing on this head is we have it coming out in three color options, and that really covers your base. We've got the natural stuff, green pumpkin, as well as black. Then we've got something a little bit brighter in that chartreuse head. But there's times when those smallmouth especially, that bright chartreuse head, Something about that just really sets those fish off. So we've got an option that's gonna cover any fishing you're gonna to wanna to do with the Ned Rig. Every time I start to tell this story, I get a bite. Look at that, got it gone. He got it and got gone with it. So that's what that gap in that hook, when those fish suck that bait in, it doesn't have to come all the way out to the edge of their lip to actually get the hook in them. You'll get the hook in them back there, back in their mouth, I mean in the roof. They just, you pin them like that and anybody's gonna land that fish, no doubt about it. But on this little dude here, you just hook it on there, run it up, and that's easy for anybody. A professional to a novice can use this head very efficiently.